So how long have you been working on this show? Uh, for a long time. Uh, with the research, almost three years actually, uh, because I've been traveling and uh, working with weaving communities in Mexico and Cambodia, Indonesia and other places. And um, working with the international cast last summer, we had a residency where they were all here together for the first time. Mm -hmm. And uh, the year before we had some of the dancers uh, for another summer residency where we were creating material. Mm -hmm. And of course they will be here soon from Cambodia, Indonesia and Mexico joined with the uh, Canadian dancers for the lead up to the premiere. Mm -hmm. uh, so it will be our final residency before we open the show and then tour it as well to Oaxaca, Mexico. So can you describe the, the background of, of the artists that you're working with? So the, they're all contemporary dancers, uh, but also they have been trained in their own cultural styles, uh, such as uh, classical Cambodian dance, Lakam Kao. Uh, the guy from Indonesia, he's a classical Japanese dancer from Indonesia as well. Marina Acevedo from Mexico is, is a modern and contemporary dancer, so her training is very similar to what uh, the Canadian dancers have had. Mm -hmm. uh, Cassie Scott and Katya Wittenborn, who, among other places, studied at School of Toronto Dance Theatre, where I met them actually, they were students of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's a mix, and it's very interesting. Uh, it, uh, creates a richer palette for me as a creator to work from mm -hmm. uh, and uh, something that's more of a global outlook. Uh, um, I can really bring in elements not just of movement and movement quality and movement style but of certain aesthetics from that I have been uh, privilege to work with in Cambodia and Indonesia and Mexico as well mm -hmm. uh, and um, it's, it's very rich and exciting for me. Mm -hmm.